Hey everybody, Boris Lasswick, welcome to the cross section for SEP 12 to SEP 16 of 2016. And this week we actually have a couple of interesting stories. Of course, I think the most dominant story as far as the cross is going to go is the odd Kiwi cross. Because if we have, of course, Australian uh, labor data and we have New Zealand GDP and there's probably going to be divergence in economic data and therefore possibly divergence in monetary policy data. So um, technically, Aussie Kiwi looks like it's just teetering on the edge here. A lot of banks are prog prognosticating Parity. Parity looks very, very real this time. We're going to take a look at the charts on a longer term basis as well. Uh, but certainly this whole hold around the 103s kind of tipping it over and, 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 and a move to the downside could really put us very close to parity towards the 101 support uh, to the top side right now. And it just sort of bounce back towards the 104, 105 is probably the, uh, the region where you want to be. The other idea that's just been a uh, you know, a seminal trade for, for a long time is Euro Pound, where we liked it to the short side for so long, for so um, for so strong. But now I think actually Euro Pound has made a near term bottom. Um, and therefore, it might be more, much more interesting to play from the uh, from the long side. And this is really more of a uh, trade, not necessarily on euro strength, but more on, on pound weakness. Um, and I think um, you know buying a dip in the euro pound probably is going to be the, the better trade for the next couple of weeks. Certainly this week, we're going to try and uh, see if there's any possibilities there. And then the last thing is kind of a, a, a hedge bet on where things are going to go. And this is really the yen cross. Now, Kiwi... Is a relative strength trade, but if you look at some, you look at this particular cross technically, it looks kind of ugly, and that's why I think it's an interesting short, which is the Kiwi Yen. It suggests that maybe we kind of reach the top here, and we could be in a in terms of a turn trade. Let's just take a look at the the key levels that I wanted to share with you before I get to the charts. So 104 uh, resist um, in the Aussie Kiwi 101 is the is the near term support. 86 is the big resistance in the pound. That's the area where I think it can trade back up to. With 83.50 now is the support, so I would be buying anything on the uh, in front of. That as a, as a trade to the upside, and then Kiwi Yen, um, there's there's a very quick turn here at the 76 level, um, and um, if that turn is a true signal, then we certainly have potential here for 74.50 at very minimum as a trade. Let's take a look at the chart here, and let me show you what I mean. Let's take first a look at actually at Aussie Kiwi, because that to me is the uh, is the central trade of the week. So here we are. This 103 was former support. We bounced back up to 107, came back down. This is this is you could say it's a double bottom, but we're really probing this double bottom to the downside. More importantly, this is a what a three uh, three year chart. I didn't even know I was on a three year chart. So this is actually a very very long chart. Um, let me show you where we're at. So um, the last time we had. A, the support in front of parity, that was the 101 support, right? That was in, um, in the beginning of 2015. And that's the possibility of where it could be going once we break down the 103s, right? On the other hand, we kind of hold it over here. If you sort of look on a very long-term chart, if we can hold in front of here and hold bid at 103. It completely changes the structure of the trade and makes it much more feasible um, into a uh, into a pro Aussie Kiwi trade, at least for the short term, because it would, it would have created a higher low on a very, very long term chart basis. We can actually look at this on a, on a weekly basis if you want. Oops. I'm having a hard time pulling my time scales here. So it's a three year weekly basis. And you can see that clearly on a weekly basis. But this is the fact that we're so close to the break here really makes me think. I mean, I want to be selling this. I really do. I just want to be selling this even at market because, because. The fundamental setup this week is it should be trading um, a lower towards the 102 is very minimum. And the 101 is really the big support. If you're going to buy this, you want to buy it in front of the support, not right over here. Um, too much of a cowboy bet to do it this way. So the next idea is the old idea that we had of Euro Pound, which we've been trading the whole time, right? Um, this is a weekly chart. Oh, excuse me. This is yeah. This is a weekly chart for the three-year chart. You can actually see this very, very clearly here. You know, double top um, at the 86 level, drop back down towards the 83.50 support. Now we're coming back up. It looks to me, especially if you look in a daily chart, like a trade to the upside, much more than a trade to the downside. Let's just take a look at the one yearly chart. You see, um, you know, we've made the support here. 84 has been, you know, was former uh, was the first level of support. It held. We came back up. It. Um, Really feels like it can go all the way up to 86 before it uh, it sort of reaches any meaningful resistance here. A buy down back towards the 84s should provide you 
um, excellent entry position for possibly move to, uh, to the upside. Again, this is a view that UK, the pound just can't make it past 135, and therefore your pound should continue to move higher. What will completely change this dynamic is if we break the 83, um, 83.30s. If we, sort of, if, we, if we break 83s, that would suggest a massive, massive top in the euro pound formation, a much more bullish pound structure, and a move all the way out to the 82s. So that's where I would be looking for my stops. Then last but not least, here's an interesting look this week because um, it seems so surprising. But, you know, if you look at it on, on a technical basis, the 76 has been a very big resist area for quite a long time. And we're failing right here. So very limited risk. You can, you can literally risk to 76.50, 76.75 on this trade and see if you could possibly uh, move all the way down to 74 on, on a uh, Kiwi Yen unwind. Those are the ideas uh, for the week, I think, um, with the Aussie Kiwi, the cleanest, strongest, most obvious trade um, as we start the week. Um, any other ones that are just sort of interesting side notes for you guys to entertain. I wish you guys the best of luck, the best of trading. It should be another very interesting week for all of us, and especially in the Comdal land as we look at the um, Australian and New Zealand data in the middle of the week, which is really the, the most important data for, uh, for the FX this week. I wish you guys the best of luck. Borscht Hansberg, over and out.